Well, the organization seeks to really lift up uh, collectively the cause of older adults in our state to ensure that New Hampshire is a great place to age and live in. Flipping the script is how we collectively look at how we talk about issues of aging in our state. So we stay away from words like frail, we stay away from words like the silver tsunami and talk more about aging as something A, that is happening to all of us and B, at one point in our lives we all might need help, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Unless we understand that as a society, it's going to be harder and harder for people to, to grow old in their community. The community should be, be available for everybody. One of the things the Alliance for Healthy Aging does is works with organizations to do what we call a frame check. So it looks at the way that they communicate with their external audiences and helps them kind of understand where those biases are and then helps them move forward in a more positive fashion. When it comes to New Hampshire, there are a number of uh, people that have been specially trained in reframing aging. So that's, there's a couple of things going on there. So they provide a program to communities and individuals to talk about how they can look at the language that they use, how they can stay away from things that bring us into what we call the swamp, negative terms, negative terms about ageism. So what we're trying to do through that is sort of change public perception from other nonprofits, from businesses, and working closer with other organizations to create what we call a new narrative for how it is to grow old uh, in New Hampshire. One of the, the things we hear about from a negative uh, factor is that New Hampshire is the second oldest state in the country. Um, we, I can also view that as a more positive. People are moving here for the quality of life that we have in New Hampshire, and through that, they're enriching their communities by their volunteerism. Our state is fortunate to have thousands of volunteers, many of whom are older adults that, that drive people to Meals on Wheels, that bring people to medical appointments, to serve on boards of directors. There's experience there. Older adults are acting every day as mentors. They have shared experience that can be passed on to others. There's intergenerational opportunities, and part of what we do is try to highlight the role that older adults play uh, in the growth of our state. I think we're making progress in terms of raising awareness among uh, businesses, nonprofits, and elected officials. I mean, hopefully that there's an opportunity for elected officials to better understand the issues around there as they make policy decisions which impact all of us.